things have been very interesting for us today. We have been seeing the rain. Uh, the temperature drop this morning was nothing short of amazing, and the temperature spread across the area was incredible. Now we're heading to the winter part. Schedule a little bit off. We're a little bit slower than we were thinking at this point, but still the storm tracker threat index is at two because travel should become pretty dicey here over the next few hours. Is it going to snow you in for the weekend? No. That said, tonight into early tomorrow, well, it may not be overly pleasant, so that's what we're at the two. The rain that's out there now, brief period of snow. The, the longer we stay here at 34, 35, the less we're going to see a freezing rain and sleet, because I think as we get the upper dynamics in here, we'll go over to that snow. And at this point, we're looking at, well, we'll put a, a kind of a three-ish. Uh, plus or minus an inch or so, depending on where you are in central Kentucky. A little bit less to the southeast, a little bit more as you head to the north. So that's our, our range at this point. If you remember yesterday, we were saying uh, three to six is a pretty good number. So again, we're at the lower end of that scale. What we're looking at is a winter storm warning that runs from Maysville and Vanceburg through central Kentucky. I mean, that's just kind of an unusual looking setup here. And then all the way down as far, as far south as Danville. To the south, it's winter's weather advisory. Now you're thinking this, okay, I'm in London or Corbin or Somerset or Hazard, and I've got just the advisory. It's going to freeze up for everyone tonight. So travel in a lot of the areas is going to get a little nastier. You just may get a little bit less snow to the southeast. The transition is about the 127 corridor give or take a few miles at this point, and we'll see that continuing to press eastward and should do so pretty quickly. So tonight, we'll see the rain changing to snow and a very quick temperature drop through the evening. Travel will get progressively worse through the evening. Meteorologically, we had a little bit of a warm push as a low pass by. It's the bane of weather, guys, that 35 degree rain, but that's what kept us there. But the cold air will come crashing in now, and it'll be a very quick change over to snow. So travel will deteriorate through this evening. It'll become more difficult through the night and into the, at least the early part of tomorrow morning. Untreated roads could still be nasty well into Saturday. Bitterly cold air is going to follow all of this. So watch as we go to our future track here from 5 o'clock. Uh, again, you're seeing temperatures hanging in the mid-30s, but by 7, we should be below freezing in the I-75 corridor, and the transition to snow should have occurred by that point. We'll then continue in snow through the night hours. And again, there will be times where this comes down at a pretty good clip and down into the teens as we get you into morning. So here's the big picture. Low pressure now moving through the western part of North Carolina. There's the snow shield on the backside, the wraparound as we continue then into Saturday. That pulls off to the northeast as an Arctic high plows in. And this was interesting today. Watch the cold just plow through. But then the freeze line, the bright white, hung up. That will eventually, though, begin to move eastward again, doing so pretty quickly. It's still 56 in Pikeville. Hey, we had a Bill's Weather 101 today. Don't let a little snow threat deter these kids. Seton Catholic in Lexington. Those are third graders you see with today's Bill's Weather 101. There is a winter storm warning for tonight. Snow, cold, mid-teens, a windy day tomorrow. Flurries or a few snow showers. How about just low 20s? We continue then through the rest of your forecast. A brutally cold day on Sunday. Moderate on Martin Luther King Day on Monday. But that comes with some snow showers and flurries that last into Tuesday. And the temperatures. Yeah. Wintry looking week. Thanks, Bill. Thank